as the children will come up, there'll be allocated red markers on the ground, and you can see that all the way down to the robots, there will be a person there that will stop the cars from coming across, and just make sure that your child is safely across that section of the road. Once they get to the other section, you can actually see on the ground there's a red marking, and that is uh, your social distancing marking. So as soon as someone has moved past that marker, you will then take up that space, and it will continue all the way through to the main gate. Once the student gets to the front gate, there will be a staff member to sanitize their hands. Once they've sanitized the hands, they'll move on to the next social distance markers and they're all marked in red on the ground, as you can see. They will then be directed to the hall. As you can see, Mr. Lawazi has got to the hall. There will be social distancing questions that we have to ask each pupil. And we ask the parents to please make sure that they ask these questions before they bring the child to school. And uh, we'll have a staff member there just guiding them to read the questions as they go. And uh, when they get to the front door of the hall, Mrs. Williams will make sure that they have understood and read the questions and there will be a new sanitizing station before they enter the hall. As you may see, these are the questions that you would need to ensure that your child has read before they've got to school. Once they are in the hall, you'll see that there's a marketed uh, area on the floor and that is your social distancing arrow that the child will need to follow and follow the same until they get to the next station. At the next station, there will be a staff member that will allocate the pupil to the screening table. At this table, uh, a staff member will scan in the student's ID or QR code and, uh, and another staff member will take their temperature. This information will be uploaded and uh, stored on our school database for us to monitor if there are any irregularities during the course of the day. If a child has a high temperature, they will then be taken to the isolation area and a staff member will be with them until a parent must come and f fetch them.